Hey, it's Rosa59 here uh, for woodworking. Uh, I thought I'd show you uh, these little kids' table and chairs that I made. Um, I'll put a link be uh, below where I got the idea of the plans were, and I kind of modified them just a little bit to my liking. Um, basically, I'll just go through on uh, kind of how I, uh, what dimensions I used, and then I'll take a picture of my plans and I'll put it up on the video for you guys to look at. Basically, um, I used construction lumber for the legs and uh, pine for the side rails and uh, on the chairs I used all pine uh, except for the legs, construction lumber and the top here for the tabletop I used construction lumber just because it's a little more durable uh, with pine I found um, it's okay if you get you know when kids are coloring or whatnot you don't want nicks or something in there because that defeats the purpose of it so basically, um, how I all built this was with the Craig Jig. Um, if you don't own one or whatnot, um, basically what the Craig Jig is is it's basically a pocket hole joinery, and the company is just called the Craig Jig. Um, basically, what it is is the diameter you drill in. It's a special clamp that you put on, um, and it has holes, and it drills in on a diagonal, basically. And when you screw it together, you put screws in, which comes in with self-topping screws that screws in. So it becomes nice and strong joint. You can add glue for extra joinery, which I did. And then you get a nice flush uh, joint onto that. So if you don't know what that is, that's basically how I built the table together for the legs, for instance. Um, same thing with the chairs I did as, as well. And the top as well. Um, Basically, the legs are all inch and a half by inch and a half in width, um, the thickness as well. And then the length of it from here to the bottom is 21 and a quarter for all four legs for the table. And for the front rails here is 17 and a half. And they're all two and a half inches um, in width. That's for all of them. And for the length, the length lies down here. It is 27 inches in length. And for the top, the person suggested putting it basically um, lengthwise uh, in three pieces, but I didn't have I didn't have enough construction lumber and didn't want to purchase it. This is just all free lumber that I had. Uh, that I got and left over some of the stuff that I got as well. Um, so the top, I basically did mine all cut to four inches, and I think I used eight pieces. And what I did was um, I planed it down to one inch thickness, and I basically used the Craig jig to join it together this way. Um, so instead of basically it going into a rail like this was a lot wider and I just did them all all across so it became one nice board and it was nice and secure uh, for the for the table and for the chairs um, it was a little more complicated but I was putting my plans over here to so I can say this one right over here uh, basically same idea as your table um, same way so the legs are inch and a half by inch and a half as well I'll start at the front here your front uh, legs in height is 13 and a quarter 13 and a quarter inches and your back leg here is inch and a half by inch and a half by 26 inches long and then for your front piece here and your back piece your two back pieces and those are 10 inches and again it's the same width as um, the top which is like the sides for the, for the table uh, it's two and a half inches from here so that's two and a half inches by ten. Just your front and your back and your two two sides here. And as you can see again, I did pocket joinery as well. 
And then for your sides, I did 10 and a quarter by two and a half. Uh, just a reason just to give it just a little bit more depth, not too much. And 10 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter on your sides. And then for your top, I basically did two and a half inches wide by 13 and a quarter. So I basically did an eighth of an inch overhang on each side. And in the middle here, basically what I did, I just made myself just a little template so I knew exactly uh, kind of where I was going to cut on my piece before I did. Um, so I just kind of drew it on paper first or if you have Google SketchUp or whatnot program, you can do it and do it to scale and print it out. I just did it quick and fast way. And then for the top, uh, for the top here, I did spacings of a quarter of a quarter inch. I did roughly about a quarter, a quarter of inches, two scrap pieces I had. I think it's a little under maybe the 32nd or so of a quarter piece. Um, but that's what I did here. And for the top, as you can see here, um, I didn't want mine flush to the top. I just did a half inch drop behind. And in here is just an inch and a half uh, spacing. So what I did is my leftover uh, piece of my legs that I had uh, that were a little extra cut off. I just put one scrap piece in there so I would be able to uh, screw these together. I just put a clamp on so it was nice and tight. And then all I did was I uh, Craig jig. I think it's about, not quite about half an inch. I think it's a quarter inch I did from the back. Again, it was just little spacers that I had, or maybe it's a little more than that, maybe three eighths or so um, space. That was just extra scrap piece and it just fit perfectly on what I, what I thought it would work. So basically, like I said, I had a clamp here. Once it was in position, um, I could take the spacer out and I just used a Craig jig uh, pocket hole joinery basically just to screw it in and it is, it is nice and strong uh, for that. Oh, and for putting the, the tops on, uh, I used, um, you can screw them. She made her base um, a little bit wider than plans when you look at it, but uh, I thought it would save me just a couple extra pieces of wood. So I basically, I had a nail gun and I just used my staple gun. Um, I think it was inch and a half nails in length um, by a quarter inch uh, staples that uh, I had um, that my gun would take. And I just basically stapled two in per one just with a little bit of uh, Gorilla Glue to keep it nice and strong um, just because kids will be toppling and probably climbing on it or whatnot. So that's kind of um, my design on how I did it. And um, basically, yeah, it's just, it's all, it's nice and light and everything. It has pocket joinery. Um, like I said, I, I'll put a link for all those uh, for the plans. I'll show you my different plans that I did. And um, yeah. I'll put also for the Craig Jig, if you don't have one, I recommend it. It's an excellent uh, joinery kit. I just made it all basically with, with that except, exception of um, the nail gun. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all the tools you need. I used a planer and stuff just to plane down um, some wood because I didn't quite have three quarters. You could go to Lumber Yard if they already have three quarters or your local Home Depot or hardware store or Lowe's to see if they have the right thickness. Um, but for the tabletop, I know she was calling for a 1x8 and they didn't make anything um, at Home Depot that size. At least at least the Canada store didn't have it, so uh, maybe in the US they do, I don't know. Um, so I had to come up with another idea, so I just I made it a lot thicker and I kind of like it a lot more sturdier and whatnot. whatnot. And I also did a, a round over, a half inch on the top and on the bottom. I, I used a half inch bit, but I just did it just a tiny little bit, just so it kind of gives that illusion that looks like it's a full bull nose kind of underneath, but it's not. And I just round out the corner so it's not any hard for kids bumping their heads or whatnot on it. I so hope you guys enjoy these plans, and uh, if you have any questions while you're building or whatnot, please leave a comment, and I'll try my best to answer and subscribe. Thanks for watching.